Hi Judgers! Welcome to another segment of Juan Arliwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. Last time, we were able to discuss an equation of the parabola with the vertex at the origin and were only given the directrix. For today, we will be discussing the equation of the parabola or its standard equation if the vertex is not anymore located at the origin. So let us first try to get the standard equation. Remember, so we will be using the equation from theorem 1 and theorem 2. But we will be replacing x by x minus h and we will be replacing y by y minus k. For this one, this becomes x minus h quantity squared is equal to 4c times what is y? y minus k. And from this one, this becomes y minus k quantity squared is equal to 4c times x minus h. So this is now the equation of the parabola with vertex located at hk. Again, the vertex is now located at hk. Therefore, this, para this parabola, it is either opening upward or downward. For this equation, this parabola is opening to the left or to the right. Okay. So, let us now try to answer this one. Find an equation of the parabola with vertex at hk and the focus is located at 2 and 5 and the directrix L, y is equal to negative 3. So, let us first graph. So, let us graph. The focus is located at 2 and 5. So, this is 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this is our focus located at 2 and 5. And we also have the directrix. The directrix y is equal to negative 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay. y is equal to negative 3. Therefore, this is our directrix y is equal to negative 3. Okay, from this graph, we could say that our parabola is opening upward or downward. But then, we are given here that this, the focus is located above the directrix. Remember that when a focus is located above the vertex or the directrix, our parabola is opening upward. And then, the right side of the equation should be positive. Okay, so if our parabola is opening upward or downward, we will be using the formula x minus h quantity squared is equal to 4c times y minus k. Okay, in this case, we do not know yet the vertex. Where is the vertex located? Therefore, the vertex is located where? In the middle of the directrix and the focus. Once again, the vertex is located in the middle of the focus and then the directrix. So I have here a shortcut. So we will be using focus, vertex, directrix. And then write the points. Okay, from the focus, it is located at 2 and 5. The vertex, we do not know yet the vertex. The directrix is located at y is equal to negative 3. Write down negative 3 here. Okay. From the directrix, we could see that we are only involving y from this one. We are only using y. Therefore, if, we, if y is the one being used, if y is the one being used, the x-coordinate of the vertex should be the same as the x-coordinate of the focus. If this is 2, this is also 2. Again, if we are only solving for the y value, we should retain the x value of the vertex and the focus. Okay, so from this one, what we should do now is to get the midpoint. Why? Because we said, we said earlier that the vertex is located in the middle of the focus and the directrix. And when we are getting, when we are getting the middle value, we should use the midpoint formula. And that the midpoint formula is just equal to x1 plus x2 over 2. Therefore, this becomes y1. This is y1 plus y2 over 2. y1 is 5. y2 is negative 3 over 2. Therefore, what is 5 minus 3? That is 2. And what is 2 over 2? That is 1. 
Therefore, the vertex now is located at positive 2 and 1. So, let us graph positive 2 and 1. So, this is now the vertex located at 2 and 1. And our parabola now is opening upward. So, our parabola is opening upward. Okay. So, if this is the case, we should now get the value of C. And how do we solve for the value of C? Remember that from the focus going to the vertex, that is the value of C. Therefore, 5 minus 1, 5 minus 1, this becomes 5 minus 1, that is 4, and it is also equal to C. 1, 1 minus negative 3, that becomes 1 minus minus 3, that becomes 1 plus 3. And what is 1 plus 3? 4, and that is also C. Therefore, the value of C now is equal to 4. Let us get the value of the lattice rectum. The value of the lattice rectum is 4 times the absolute value of C, and that is 4 times, what is the value of C? 4. Okay, and what is the value of 4 times 4? 4 times 4 is 16. Therefore, the lattice rectum is equal to 16 units. We do, we're not yet done, so what we do now is to get the standard equation. That becomes x minus h quantity squared is equal to 4c times y minus k. Okay, the vertex is located at 2 and 1. Therefore, the vertex is located at 2 and 1, and that is our h and k. We'll now be having x minus 2 quantity squared is equal to 4c. What is our 4c? 4 times 16. I 4 times 4, and that is 16 times y minus, what is the value of k? 1. Therefore, this is now the equation of the parabola with focus located at 2, 5, direct, directrix located at y is equal to negative 3, vertex located at 2, 1. And that's all for today. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Please do not forget to like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Suggest any math problem and comment if uh, you want to know something. And remember that mathematics is always fun. Once again, I am Engineer Jad Edward Hernandez. Goodbye and God bless.